So guys, today we take a look at a new exclusive weapon to the Revenge of the Cartels event, and it's called the Grease Trap. Is it a weapon you should be seeking out, or is it a weapon best left tucked away, taking up space in your bank? Today I'll give you my thoughts. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out, and subscribe if you do want to see more. Also, if you never want to miss a video I upload, do turn on those notifications by hitting that bell button. So the Grease Trap is a Maliwan pistol exclusive to this new event of the Revenge of the Cartels. And it drops upon the Villa Ultraviolet from enemies called the Roaster and the Tenderizer. Now this weapon drops mainly as an incendiary weapon but does have a second firing mode, which I don't think actually needs a mention because it is just abysmal. I could do more by spitting on the enemy, and that's not even a joke. So looking at this thing on paper, in my opinion, it's a low damage weapon. And also looking at low magazine size too, I actually feel this will be a Maliwan pistol which will go on to be nothing but to live in the shadow of its older brother, the Hellshock. I mean I wonder sometimes why weapons like this are even put into the game when they offer nothing more than weapons that are already in the game, which are much easier to get. That part puzzles me. So I went into the slaughter shaft with this thing and bullets were literally bouncing off enemies while they laughed at me and it cost me millions. I then went into the system of slaughter which is a lot easier with weaker enemies and although you can see by the background footage now it wasn't doing too bad, it certainly wasn't performing amazingly. I tried out its second firing mode of Grease Trap which just didn't do anything, even with those anointments active. It literally just tickled the enemy. So we have here a Maliwan pistol which in my opinion is just below par in every manner in which a weapon should perform. The only thing I can honestly say is good about this thing is to sell it to vendor machines to try and get back that little money which it will cost you trying to use it. I mean just comparing it to a similar level Hellshock and we can see it's worse in basically every single way besides being 2% better with accuracy. Its damage is about a third of that of the Hellshock. It's got a 20% lower handling, its reload speed is almost 1 second slower, and it only does 2 thirds of its fire rate, with half the mag of the Hell Shock. I mean people, if you want an amazing pistol, with incredible DPS, and a melee one at that, go for the Hell Shock. It's much more superior in every single way. So my thoughts on this Grease Trap. Sometimes weapons are just added into the game to make up those numbers. This in my opinion, is one of those. And to be honest, unless you are a collector and like to have everything in the game, I don't think this is worth your time even picking up. But that's just my opinion. If your opinion differs, let me know down below in that comments section. On that note guys, we have come to the end. If you guys enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.